Okay, Tuesday, November 13. That's my meal. Some mixed vegetables. Uh, I already edited the video. So this will be on another video. So I'm starting to fix my abdominal by eating correctly. So that's mixed vegetable and kale. And this is a piece of chicken I made for the kids. They didn't eat it, so I'm gonna eat that. So I have this chicken I made over the weekend. I prepared it a couple days ago. Whoa. I fried it for the kids, my little one. Actually, I'm gonna take some out. I took some out because my youngest like fried chicken. So that's how I make fried chicken. That's like this one I'm warming up for myself. But um, this part, I'm gonna bake it. Like this, I cover it. I'm gonna bake it. My husband will get that for dinner. And I'm gonna save the rest. When my youngest on Fridays, he loves fried chicken, McDonald's fried chicken. I prefer make it for him instead of buying it. So this will be my food. That's it. That's my lunch. Or dinner, I should say. Today is November 15, 2018, and it's 10.39 a.m. I just came from the gym. Um, my workout was pretty decent. Um, I'm not too hot. There's nothing extraordinary that happened or anything like that. I sort of wanted to uh, record my workout, but um, uh, what was it? Not only there were a lot of people, but... Um, some pieces of stuff equipment were missing for instance on the uh lat pull down machines uh the clips to put your attachment your different type of handles uh people were, were removing them and at in some cases where uh, those people i don't know how um they think they took two of those clips and put them together uh in one particular uh handle um, you have to look around to find this stuff. So this sort of uh, slow me down a little bit. Uh, and it's really cold outside. So when I started working out, I had this on. I took my other jacket off, but I had this and uh, long pants uh, on top of that uh, tight. And I started working out. Then and after I warm up and stuff like that, as I started working out, uh, I started getting a little bit hot so I removed that while I was removing it someone was trying to grab my uh, the the two handle lat pull down so I had to go back and tell him I'm still using it he needed the clip so uh, he felt bad but I had left my my orange juice my gloves my towel on the machine but his eyes were up he didn't see the stuff were still on the machine then later on he came and apologized to me I'm like no no it's okay you know, I mean, it's not a big deal, but I just didn't want to lo lose the spot because I already had in mind that's what I was going to do and things like that. So I focused on back and um, did a lot of other routines uh, with the dumbbells, biceps. I didn't do abs. I did not do uh, triceps, but I worked my arm, shoulders, 
and after I did all my back exercises I used the machine to do a little bit of chest uh, workout again I went heavy on that comes next week I'll try to do the bench press with the dumbbells I'm gonna start right off the bat with a 40 pound uh, dumbbell and uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do it but I'm gonna try it um, after I warm up and if I'm able to do it I'll do two sets of 10 or whatever I'm able to push so yeah that's today and i went to the supermarket i'm uh, not supermarket to the 99 cent store to grab uh duct tape because tomorrow my uh, son's school is having uh, uh, some kind of event to raise money where each kid you know if they bring a dollar they get two strips of uh, duct tape to tape the principal um whatever amount of sh uh dollars that they bring they get the uh the same amount of uh strip for instance if they bring a dollar they get one strip they bring ten dollars they get ten strip to duct tape the teacher or the principal on the wall so i went to buy some duct tape to uh donate to them and uh they didn't have it uh they didn't have it i ended up buying what did i buy books some books for the kids um i ended up spending more than i wanted to but uh, it's little activities i have the book somewhere i don't know where i put it oh there it is um it's like little activities for them to do you know my kids they especially my oldest are having some issues with reading comprehension so i came across a couple books and things like that you know to help them so uh there's some test prep things this is for second grade that would be for my youngest he's in first grade so that would be for him and there's one for fifth grade math my oldest is in fourth grade but over the summer and stuff like that he will work on some of these and my youngest will work on the second grade version so yeah and uh, this the reason i got that one it covers what is it uh math language art and things like that so it covers two different kind of topics so it has some reading stuff so I grabbed that for my uh, oldest. And eventually, I'm, I'm not going to make my oldest write on it. Usually, uh, for instance, you see, these are notebooks that uh, my oldest had used last year. So he didn't finish uh, use all of the pages. So instead of getting rid of the, the book just because he only used maybe ten, the first 10 pages, like this, this is the amount he used. So what I did is that I, you know, fold it like that. And uh, uh, when I give him writing activities to do, it's like this morning he was doing some writing, I told him to write an introduction for me about, what was it? Uh, how was his morning, uh, this, uh, how was his morning? So he had to write an introduction and then later on he could write the body and eventually the conclusion of it. So, um, I use those notebooks for them to do work, things that I give them around the house to do extra work from school. So nothing to show you in terms of my uh, workout today. Um, I, like I said, I wanted to record, but you know, too many things going on and they're doing some renovation at the gym. Um, what is it? They sort of switch the ladies with the men. So they, they were changing the bathroom like, renovate the bathroom right so they did the men's one first and then now they're doing the ladies so they switch the men's uh they give us the men's the ladies use the men's room and the men's use the ladies room because the workers obviously are men so wherever the workers are they grab the men uh they use uh they take the men to use the, the men the girls bathroom instead so yeah one thing i wanted to discuss um it's not a huge deal um i'm not sure how to approach it but because uh of my situation i've gone through it um i thought maybe it's something i should touch the base i'm not like i said i'm not sure how to approach it i don't want to sound like i know it all but i don't but i just want to give my perspective of it as you know even from my intro um on the video you see how my body was from after my pregnancy i pretty much blew up like a, a balloon and then i worked my way to be where i am right now it, you know kind of slim so i had someone who just uh, uh did uh, surgery uh um, i don't she didn't explain the thing to me it's just that someone told me she did it right to sort of lose weight uh what is it 
gastro bypass i don't know how you call where they staple your abdominal something to help that person lose weight right the perspective i'm bringing into this it's not like i'm against it uh everyone have different uh views or if they're going through it they have their own, their mind is telling them something um instead of you know someone who's not going through it so because like i said i've I was big before and then I worked my way to be slim. That's why I'm talking about it. The sort of problem that I sort of have with this kind of thing that person did is just that I felt like she didn't try, uh, that person did not try to lose the weight uh, the normal way by doing the hard work. Uh, control what you eat, do some uh, physical activities. And some people don't like to do physical activities, but little walks help, okay? If, for instance, you're going somewhere, you know, you're not gonna carry a lot of stuff, you walk or take some time in the morning, spend, you know, do a little bit of walking, or if you like jogging, do a little bit of jogging or something like that. So every little thing help. But what I see is that that person did not try anything at all and went straight to the surgery. So, um, if for instance, you know, that person, uh, don't have the discipline of controlling what, uh, he or she eats, um, that surgery will be meaningless because it will come right back. The weight will come right back from, from my perspective. Like I said, I don't know how that procedure works, what the method or scientific behind it, uh, they probably just staple the abdominal to you know make the person feel full i don't know like i said i don't know but the point that i'm saying is that you know try something first before you do that because if you don't have the discipline to eat right and do some physical activities or something like that this kind of uh, issues will uh the weight will most likely come back because you don't have the discipline to uh either to control what you eat or do the hard work to uh you know do some sort of physical activities to lose the weight like most people don't really need to be at the gym to lose the weight majority of the work is in the kitchen and you know some basic walk is good to get the joints lubricated do some you know basic exercises that will lead you to you know maintain a a, a slim uh body but um I may not explain that the correct way and I don't want to bash anybody for doing that but I just felt like before uh, you go to that huge procedure not only is it expensive but before you go through that huge uh, surgery uh, try the hard work first you know uh, go to the gym or do some walking do some basic movement and control what you eat or put yourself in some sort of a diet usually with the diet for instance i'm gonna bring that in terms of my perspective in terms of controlling what you eat uh you have to uh once you give yourself let's say for me for instance all i need is like two weeks to really if i eat right for two weeks my taste bud automatically um change so it will be hard for me to go back to the uh eating just anything right um right now i'm trying to bring my abdominal down um i did bring my foot uh lag because uh now that i'm focusing on bringing my abdominal down for some reason or another it's this is not the first time that happened it's like a a, a pattern once i focus on losing the weight it seems like the first couple days or maybe the first few weeks the weight remained the same when i weigh myself in the morning and at night i barely lose anything but once let's say after uh the first two weeks or something like that my taste buds start uh, getting used to eating right the weight automatically goes i could lose the weight like in a week afterward so um you have to give yourself some chances, some uh, time to get your taste bud back uh, into eating uh, healthy and stuff like that. For instance, um, I sort of stopped 
every now and then I record my weight and, and I stop because my uh, computer is uh, getting full. So I have, I, I'm trying not to record too many stuff. So for instance, like on the 11th, I think that was on Sunday, my weight was 131.2, my morning weight, 131.2. Uh, oh, that was my, um, let's go back. On the 12th, my morning weight was 130.2. I don't know if you guys can see it. 130.2. And then my night weight, it went straight up. 132 pounds and I gained 1.8, which is normal because I eat stuff in between and then, you know, it has to go up, right? And if you guys have been paying attention to some of my videos, in order for my abs to show, I have to be around 126. Once I'm at 126, my abs will be popping. And if I go below that, uh, you know, it's really showing, right? So on the 13th, I believe that was either, uh, today is Thursday, uh, Wednesday, Tuesday, that was Tuesday. On the 13th, my morning weight was 131.6. So I lost only 0.4 pounds. Usually, uh, if I go back to some of my other weights, it's my morning weight I will be in, I will lose like on a one pound or so, right? You see, my morning weight is usually in a pound. So now that I'm focusing on the my weight issue, uh, the weight is going somewhat slow, right? And my uh, my night weight uh, later on on the 13th I gained 131.4, so I only gained 0.2 pounds. So that's not bad. Then yesterday morning my weight was 130. 0.4 and I gained one pound Okay, now it's starting to work the way you know the pattern that I've been saying right um, Once I get used to eating certain things things start going the right way then last night I weighed myself. I was 131.2 Okay, I only gained 0.8 pound then this morning 130.6 I only lose 0.6 pound so it's like one of those things you have to give yourself time um, to for the body to get used to uh, doing certain things and then eventually uh, your taste bud will get uh, used to the kind of healthy stuff and then the, you could pretty much manipulate anything to be at a certain weight. Um, that's my point. I don't know if I make sense, but um, you know, instead of going to the, uh, the surgery without trying, um i think it's useless because if you don't have the discipline to know you have to control what you eat and uh, do some basic movement some basic exercises the weight will most likely uh, come back up then again this may not fit to everybody's uh, uh situation because everyone have different um thing there are people who try for years they can't lose the weight and this is the best thing for them to do i'm not talking about these people but you know if you are young you just gave birth or something like that or whatever the situation may be give yourself some time to do the hard work then you do the surgery again this might be controversial uh it may not be uh i may not explain it properly but i just wanted to give a small slight perspective into that that's it that doesn't give me the 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 license to claim that i know it but i'm only saying it because uh after i gave birth i gained a lot of weight i did the hard work i did the i lose the weight the hard way in order for me to be where i am now and i in order for me to maintain it i have to continue to do some basic exercises and things like that so again, that's not to say that I have the right to uh, uh, condemn somebody for doing it. That's not the point at all. The main point is try the hard way first before you do the easy way. That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope I make sense. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.